of Fox News' biggest stories just blew up in its face. So this confidential human source, you know, if you're watching other networks, you're not going to hear this story. So if you're just watching Fox for the first time, we'll tell you what's happening in this story because the media has been ignoring this. One of the FBI's top informants, a guy with impeccable credentials, a great track record, reported an allegation that Joe Biden took a $5 million bribe right under Barack Obama's nose. The allegation was gigantic and Fox News ran with it. The Washington Post's Philip Bump calculated that Fox mentioned Biden in the context of a bribe or bribery more than 2,600 times in the past year. Media Matters counted Sean Hannity alone, devoting at least 85 segments to this supposed scandal in the same time frame. Republicans in the House launched an entire impeachment inquiry around this claim. A year's worth of Republican mudslinging has been based on one allegation detailed in an FBI form called a 1023 from one confidential human source. We have now the FD 1023. I have it in my hand. It's the FBI report that was prepared in 2020 when a confidential human source raised allegations that Joe Biden as vice president personally received bribes. This FD-1023 is damning. Even a trusted FBI informant has alleged a bribe to the Biden family. The most corroborating evidence we have is that 1023 form from this highly credible confidential human source. The most corroborating evidence we have is from this highly credible confidential human source. Last week, the Justice Department arrested that confidential human source. His name is Alexander Smirnoff, and he has now been indicted on two counts of lying to the FBI, specifically about providing false derogatory information to the FBI about Joe Biden and his son, Hunter Biden. Now, that alone is devastating to the narrative that Fox News and the Republican Party have been pushing. Countless hours of TV accusations and smear campaigns an entire congressional impeachment inquiry, all based on what the Justice Department now says were lies. But this story does not end there. It gets so, so much worse. Because according to a new pretrial filing from the Department of Justice, when this confidential source, Alexander Smirnov, was interrogated after his arrest last week, he told the FBI that he has been getting his information from Russian intelligence officers. So to recap quickly, the basis of the Republican impeachment investigation against President Biden and a year's worth of one of Fox News' biggest anti-Biden stories were just lies from a guy the Department of Justice now claims is a Russian intelligence asset. And according to the Justice Department, until he was arrested last week, Smirnov's plan was to keep poisoning our, poisoning our nation's political well with more lies passed to him by the Russian government. Smirnoff's efforts to spread misinformation about a candidate of one of the two major parties in the United States continues. That candidate would be Joe Biden. Smirnoff is actively peddling new lies that could impact U.S. elections after meeting with Russian intelligence officials in November. That is election interference. If what the Department of Justice is alleging here is true, the Russian government is actively interfering in the 2024 election to try to help Donald Trump get elected. And Russia potentially played Republican elected officials, and by the way, Fox News, like a fiddle in order to do so. What makes all of this all the more alarming is that this is not the first time this has happened. These are photos of Rudy Giuliani, then Trump's personal attorney, with his main source when he made corruption allegations against Joe and Hunter Biden before the 2020 election. The guy's name is Andre Durkoch, and in 2020, the U.S. Treasury Department sanctioned Mr. Durkoch. The department put him on a list of Russia-linked election interference actors and said he had been an active Russian agent for over a decade. And this wasn't Joe Biden's Treasury Department. This was Donald Trump's. This was Secretary of the Treasury Steve Mnuchin. From at least late 2019 through mid-2020, 
Derkosh waged a covert influence campaign centered on cultivating false and unsubstantiated narratives concerning U.S. officials. Again, that would be Joe Biden in the upcoming 2020 presidential election. Derkosh's unsubstantiated narratives were pushed in Western media. Hmm. Steve Mnuchin's Treasury Department described it as foreign interference in an attempt to undermine the upcoming 2020 U.S. presidential election. So in 2020, the mark was Rudy Giuliani. In 2024, it looks like it's Congressman Jim Jordan and James Comer. Twice now, Republicans have become winning or unwitting useful idiots, spreading lies about Joe Biden to hurt his chances in the presidential election, never minding what happens to this country in the process. Joining me now is New York Congressman Dan.